everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to the video. So today I'm back here for another speed build and this one is going to be a penthouse speed build. Now I actually haven't done one of these on my channel yet, nor have I done an apartment build, um, an apartment renovation or a penthouse renovation. I haven't done like any proper building yet using City Living, so I'm really, really excited to be doing this video. Um, this is actually a challenge. It's part of X Urban Sims X's, aka Jen here on YouTube, her Black Widow challenge. Um, she asked us to make a penthouse so she can use it for her main sim in that LP um, and we'll have to submit it on the gallery and then she chooses one. So this is my submission. You can actually get this on the gallery by using the hashtag BW Penthouse um, or you can go over to my origin ID which is RealThomasTV1 which is the same as my Twitter. Um, I'll probably talk about more of my social media and links and stuff like that later in the video. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really happy to be doing this. Now, it, it was a very, very long build. I think it was about over four hours I spent on it and I just got so immersed in it. Like, I think I started about 10am and it was like after two, after two o'clock actually that I finished it. So and I literally just forgotten to eat the whole day. I hadn't eaten anything. By the time like, I finished, I thought I was going to pass out. I just couldn't stop. I just wanted to get it all done like, and dusted in one go, which was probably a bad idea because then I started to get like a headache and lose focus. But I'm glad it's done. It was a very big build, um, at least in my books, because I don't really do big builds. I, I, can't, I don't really have a lot of concentration, I guess you could say. I'll lose track after a while. Then I might you know, get tired and I won't put as much effort into them. So I decided that big builds aren't really for me. Um, but this is, you know, a good thing to do once in a while. I don't really think I've done a, a really big build as this before. I mean, compared to some of your videos, it probably isn't that big. But for me, it is. And I think it turned out really, really well. It's probably one of my favourite builds I've done in a little while, actually. So, um, like I said, it's about four hours of footage. To, I've cut it down as much as I could. I didn't want it to be longer than half an hour. So I think it's about 20 minutes. Um, and if I'm going into one like room like this, then I might not you know, have much footage for each room. But remember, there will be uh, screenshots at the end of the video so you can get more of a you know, big insight to what this apartment, like this apartment, well, I suppose it's an apartment, what this penthouse is all about. So here we are with the kitchen. And in Jen's announcement video, she said that um, it's the same here and Jen Okay, wants to have you know a kind of a vintage glamour sort of themed uh, penthouse that's what I try to do use a lot of black and white colours and a lot of vintage uh, vin vintage <laughs> what, what even word is that um, a lot of vintage glamour stuff in this um, build here as well so the kitchen didn't have any vintage glamour stuff in because <laughs> there wasn't any vintage glamour stuff with that. Oh, actually, I think the back... No, was it? I don't know. One of the wallpapers behind the kitchen might have been that. Um, so as you see now, there's a jump cut because I, it was taking too long and I didn't want the video to be too long, like I said. Um, and yes, yeah, so we are onto the TV room here. And the only rules of the house really was to have four um, bedrooms. One, well, I only had one bathroom, which I think is not really a lot, but you could add more if you want to. There's actually... You can go up another floor, so you could maybe do a third floor if you want to, if you download this um and it had to be under seven hundred thousand, no custom content and um yeah i think that was about it really so here we are with the uh living room like i said again i tried to keep keep it using vintage glamour stuff not everything's vintage glamour but a, a majority of it is um and i also tried to kind of keep the same um design as the other apartments down below um i didn't want it to you know stand out too much which i mean it is a penthouse and you know kind of has a lot of uh, a big symbol to it i guess you could say so I, I mean it would be good in a way to make it stand out but i just didn't want it to stand out too much so some of the windows aren't exactly the same as the one underneath but um i, I suppose most of it is so um i'm really really happy how this turned out like i said i really really like the back um i didn't expect it to turn out this good actually the garden is pretty big um, and uh, I've got a big swimming pool in there. The swimming pool is probably maybe a little bit too big, but you know, um, Angelica is a very rich sim for all of these things that she does. And I'm not going to go into that in today's video because I don't want to ruin the LP for any of you who are thinking about watching it. So we are nearly up on the uh, living room now. Uh, just a couple more finishing touches. Um, I did want to put what you'll see in probably just a few seconds here. I did put like a little table. Um, do I do that right now? I don't know. Hang on, I'll, I'll explain once I actually do it. Um, the clip's going to cut, but I, like I said, I'm putting like a table right there. And I put a little, um, what do you call it, a little thingy on top. I can't even, oh my god, what's it called? Like stereo. Why couldn't I think of that? On top, but it didn't actually clip to it, so I had to use the cheat to like raise things up. Anyway, that didn't, <laughs> that wasn't very interesting. Um, here we are on to kind of like the main uh, area. It was kind of a little bit big, this main area. I could have separated it into more bedrooms and, well, another bathroom probably, but um, I'm still, I I'm really happy how it turned out, like I said. Um, 
I've put a big bar area in here because I just felt like that fits her personality a lot. So I did have a big bar in the back there. And I do keep going back to places and changing them. That's another thing I forgot to mention. When I do builds... What I normally do is go into one room, get the basics done, and then go on to another room. And then at the end, I go through with all the decorations and those little finishing touches and things. So I did that for a little bit, well, some parts of this build. Um, but, you know, like I, as you can see there in the, in the what do you call it? <laughs> I can't think of the name. The kitchen, um, I did, you know, do uh, like the, the basics of it. And then I went back in later with the decorations. Anyway, so here we are with this little area. And I didn't know what to do with it. At first, it was going to be the bar area. But then I had to move the windows and stuff. It was really, really cramped in there. So I just put it, um, a, what do you call it, a chess table in there. And um, yeah, so as you can see, I don't know if you've just seen there, but my game was recording in that recording. I don't know if you've seen because the bar, the yellow bar around the screen. I didn't even realise I'd done that. That's probably why I was having a bit of lag during this uh, recording. Um, so I've kind of just realised that the counters and the counters above are like two different colours. I didn't even realise that. It might just be the lighting, but I don't think there were. No, because they are the same type, so no, it must just be a lighting glitch then. Um, and uh, let me know what you think about what I've done there in the corners, how I've got, you know, those top uh, cabinets on the top. Um, what, cabinets, I mean. How I've got them coming all the way down the wall. I think that looks nice for the corner bits. I don't know why, I just thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, we've got a nice big island there as well. I did put a... Um, all of the items here are really, really expensive. I think the house came out to about 350000 which, I mean, is much cheaper than the limit we could go up to. Um, but I still think, it, you know, it is a, a good uh, price for a house. So I'm getting distracted here because I'm trying to take off my jumper because I'm starting to get really warm now. <laughs> anyway, so um, at the beginning of the build as well, I just went through with, like, those basic <laughs> 150 simoleon lights that everybody uses that are really really good for lighting the place up but you know it doesn't look good it, oh, I can't string a sentence together um it doesn't look too good if you use them like all the time um they are useful i did use them sometimes in this build but i went through at the start and i do this in like pretty much all my builds is put those down because you know the light up the space really nice so it's easy to see what i'm doing and then i go back at the end and change the lighting up um with the windows here i didn't really put a lot of curtains on them i kind of used the same curtain throughout those black ones which came with city living um they just fit <laughs> they were on the only ones that fit that window i think anyway but you know i didn't want them to have too many curtains on the window because i kind of like the open and feel of the place and letting all the light in because of the amazing view and stuff and it's on the top of the apartment block so I mean nobody's going to be looking in your windows anyways um, unless they're in a helicopter or something um, so this room on right here is one that I'm absolutely in love with this is Angelica's room now it is very it's got lots of it's like basically red and black colors you know the red symbolizing danger and all that sort of stuff about her character um so if you don't watch the lp then i strongly recommend you can watch it because if i'm explaining things then you might not know what i'm talking about um but you know it kind of fits her dangerous uh themed character i guess you could say if you know what i mean that's why i've put lots of red in it um and i really really like how it looks and um, it's very very big it's kind of like the main you know the attraction of the house i guess you could say it, like stands out it's the biggest thing there and i'm really really happy how it turned out now like i said at the beginning beginning there are screenshots at the end so i'll go into more detail with that um so yeah i'll leave a link down below to jen's channel so you can go watch her other videos i really recommend you go and do that and subscribe she is an amazing amazing person um she's helped me so much with my channel and you know i could go on forever about jen <laughs> she's just like the best person ever um if you're watching this jen i think you know how much i appreciate you and how much you do for me just all, all those little things you know with helping me giving little tips and everything like that it just add up and really benefits me in my channel and progressing um she's actually just sold me her um old graphics card her um nvidia geforce gtx 980 um which came a little while ago to my house from seattle and <laughs> um, it took like I don't know, how many days was it? I think it was about eight days coming from Seattle to, like, England, I think is a good time. I thought it would be more than that. Um, but it did get here, and, you know, I was really, really... I'm really, really happy with it. I'm, <laughs> I'm not too happy, and if Jen's watching, then I think you'll know what I mean, because... We had a little problem. Um, my computer inside. I, I mean, if you're not, if you don't really know about computers and you're not really interested in computers, then I suggest you just skip. You know, maybe a minute or two while I explain this. I don't want to go into too much detail, but um, my computer case inside the motherboard where the graphics card can, um, you know, attaches to, is not fitted correctly. So. The graphics card doesn't actually fit properly. I mean, it does, it, the space for it and everything, it fits in nicely, but it doesn't perfectly line up with the slot on the back. And the motherboard is just in the way. If the motherboard was like a centimetre just away from the back plate, and then it would be perfect, but 
oh my god, it's so so stressful. But I'm I'm determined to get it figured out, um, and and I can't wait to start using it because it's going to make such a big difference to my uh, my channel. You know, Jen's been like, we've been, <laughs> me and Jen have been like texting every single day about you know just channel progress. Progr oh, I can't speak progression. Uh, you know, things about improving videos, talking about channel ideas, all that sort of stuff. Um, and you know, I have a lot of good plans for the future. And with this graphics card, it's going to be much much better. Um, I should be able to record in 60 frames per second and with a couple of other little um you know additions to my uh, system then that should be uh, ready to go so I'm not going to go any more into that. I'll probably talk about more on Twitter if you're interested. My username on there is RealThomasTV1. Um, and you can go and follow me on there for more information about upcoming videos. You can also follow me on the Sims Amino app or the X Urban Sims X Amino app. Um, my username on both of those is Thomas. Um, I'm actually going to be doing an, an update video coming up in uh, like early New Year, maybe the 2nd of January. I'll talk about it in just a second. Um, I'm going to, you know, do like an important update. And I'll actually have a couple of things like questions to ask you as well, which I really appreciate if you could answer in the comment section but there'll be more information about that in that video so like i said the amino i'll be going into more about what amino is it's basically just a social network and you can join sub communities with a particular interest so the two i'm joined with are the sims amino and the x urban sims x amino both two sims related communities hence the name and um yeah my username like i said is on both those is thomas um, i'm a curator on the sims amino app which basically means a moderator and on the x urban sims x amino app i'm a leader which you know kind of means i run the app with, along with jen because i think most of you know she is very very busy at the minute um so i'm just kind of running the app for her at the minute just helping her out because i know she has a lot on her plate at the minute so um let's get back to the build and uh, oh actually before i said that i was i was talking about an update video so um i will be doing that in uh, early january and another thing is, if this is going up before I think it is, hopefully this video is going up before the 23rd, I am actually going to be doing a Q&A, hopefully on the 23rd, if I get enough questions, because it is going to be marking one year of me making Sims videos, which is really, really exciting. If you don't know, I used to make other videos on this channel, like I started in 2013, and before that I made videos like since 2010, but on this channel, I started making Sims videos on, well, I got The Sims 4 on the 23rd of December 2015, I always remember that day now, and then I started making videos videos a couple of days after so I'm going to say the 23rd kind of like marks that you know anniversary and um, so I'm going to be doing a very special video hopefully if everything plans out along with a Q&A so you can use the hashtag on Twitter ask Thomas TV and you can submit questions for me to answer that video they can be uh, sims related or not it doesn't really matter and you can also submit them on those two aminos as well I have posts up and you can submit them as comments to those posts um What's your debate? In the comment section of this video, just let me know it's about the Q&A if you want to. I mean, if you ask a question, then I'll probably, you know, notice it's for that video um, or on any other videos, really, because I see every single comment. Um, and that's, you know, those main... The, the, oh my God, I can't speak. Those are the main places to submit questions. So um, let's get back on the build now, finally. <laughs> We've spent like 10 minutes talking, but, you know, if, I think for long builds, I should think of like a story to tell or something like that. Not really like story time, but I mean, like for big builds like this, just talking about the build purely throughout kind of gets a little bit tiring and I feel like I'm like repeating myself so like saying like oh I'm gonna put like a picture up here and a picture up there I'm gonna put this bed here that sort of thing it just kind of gets a little repetitive you know what I mean so I try to switch things up a little bit but I mean not really <laughs> anyway so here we are onto one of the smaller bedrooms in the house I think this is uh maybe the smallest or the second smallest bedroom um, in the house and it is just like a spare bed. I guess one of the kids could use it. It isn't really uh, for a specific gender. I know the other one was blue but I mean that is kind of gender neutral I suppose. You could easily just change up the colours if you want to if you download this for yourself um, and yeah so this room is uh, like neutral colours. Um, it's one of my favourite <laughs> colour palettes to use as you may know by now like literally every single build I do is kind of like neutral colours um, it's just a really nice colour combination to use um, so that room is a little bit of an awkward shape it was kind of very narrow but it does work out I'm kind of glad that it's not that big because I feel like when rooms are more compact it just looks more lived in and you can fill up the space more easily and there just isn't as many blank spaces I suppose so here we are onto the bathroom and the only bathroom in this uh, penthouse but it is a nice one Um again I just use kind of like dark well black and white so maybe a little hint of gold here and there um, and if you, I forgot to mention this but in her bedroom I use like lots of red colours and you may see through the house I do now and again put like a little hint of red in somewhere for example the seats down in the you know the main place downstairs in the, in the chest table uh, they have red seats so, so it's just little things like that just you know to add a little bit of red in so you know you can 
kind of think that, oh, this this apartment is kind of... I keep saying apartment. If it's an apartment, you know I mean penthouse. Um, that this penthouse is kind of made for um, Angela. So, um, Angel, I mean, <laughs> I keep getting her name mixed up all the time. Um, see, me, see me going into night mode. I'm just, like, testing out how everything looks. Um, one thing I should have done, and I've kind of just realised this now, I should have put lights, like, around the house. I've put lights in the garden area and, like, in the plants and things like that, but I didn't actually put any lights on the house. So, I might do that and update the garden. I, I don't know. I, I, if you want to download this house, then you could easily just put some lights around the house, um, you know, just to light it up a little bit at night. So, this room right here, um, there was another room. But yeah, yeah, I think it was this room. I wasn't paying attention to the playback screen just then. This room right here, um, I didn't know what to do with it. It was very, very narrow and there just wasn't a lot of space. It was kind of just there, like taking up space and I just didn't know what to do with it. So what I decided to do was kind of make it into like a very like mini um, like games room sort of thing. So what I've done is basically just put a, a foosball table in there and an easel. I think I have about three easels in this house. So, you know, if you like painting, like, well, if your sims like painting, then this will be a good place for them to live. Um, and yeah, so I just kind of filled that space up with that. There wasn't really anything else I could do there. So like I was saying at the beginning, those 150 simoleon lights do get a little bit repetitive. So you may see me putting some more lights in this build. For example, in that blue bedroom there, I think that's one of the only rooms that I use those lights in. I mean, some rooms I do use that, like that little office room there as well, but in addition to other ones, mainly. Um, so I do have a couple of chandeliers there from Vintage Glamour, like I said, I was going to use. Um, that little office is just like a small thing, you know, where Angela can, you know, <laughs> I keep saying Angela, you know what I mean, where Angel can be, you know, planning her next moves. So, you know, that's a nice little compact space. It's very, like, uh, private, I guess, um, for all that sort of work. So here we are onto the outside, finally. Um, I think landscaping is a really, really, I mean... I'm not really good at landscaping, but it is one of my strongest points compared to other points. Um, so I, I really enjoy doing landscaping. I, I don't know why. I just really do putting plants down on grass. Um, so this pool is really, really big and it just looks... It's disgusting, a good word. <laughs> I don't even know if disgusting is a good use to use, but used to use... Oh my God. You know, it's getting like a couple of... Like, it's 20 minutes into the episode now. I'm starting to go a little bit delirious. So... The pool just doesn't look too good. It was the the coverings I used on the bottom. I don't know why. It just doesn't look too good. So I did go back and change that. Um, so yeah, I did go into night mode just to test out the game. And as you can see, my game is recording a video by itself here. So if there is a little bit of lag, then I apologise. Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, landscaping. I just really, really like it. I'm just going in with lights, filling up the place with plants. Something I did with that little fountain there, as you can see. I put like, I don't even know what it is. It's <laughs> something that came with City Living. And I just put the, like those floor tiles that are used for the main stone on the outside I put that underneath and I just thought it was a nice little uh, just little feature I suppose something that stands out a little bit nicer um so for some reason I've paused here and I don't know why oh there we go <laughs> I thought like the thing had frozen for a second um so I am going in back with the the pool again um I just wasn't happy how those bubble things on the bottom looked I think it was just too cramped too messy so I went in again and did it again um I did want to include those because I think they give a nice little effect so we are nearing the end of the video here let's just see how long I've got left I've got about a minute left before the screenshots come on um so the traits I gave for this lot what was it I think it was romantic aura good schools and chef's kitchen I think that was the three I gave because you know she does have children so I, th I thought that would be a good one to use chef's kitchen I mean I just didn't know what to do for the third one and then the romantic aura kind of fits her personality a bit as well so I'm um, just going with final touches and things here if you like this build please make sure you leave a like uh, well yeah leave a like and let me know in the comment section down below about what you think if there's anything else you think I should improve next time because that'd be really really useful um, and also I don't know if you just see on the second balcony there I did put one of those um, things that came with luxury party stuff I don't know what they're called, they're called but I wanted to put it in somewhere and that was kind of the only place it fit so if you're having a party outside that'll be a really really nice place to um, have some things also the grand piano I don't know why but I didn't think of that until now and um, but I did put that in. Also, you might have just seen that table is very, very long. I was going to mention this earlier in the build, but I just totally forgot. Um, the space was very, very empty, and I just thought one table didn't look enough, so I put three tables together. I mean, you'd only use one, but you know what I mean. So, here we are with the screenshots. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below, like I said, what you think of this. Make sure you go over to the gallery, Real Thomas TV one and Jen's channel to check out more of this LP and more about this uh, challenge. You can follow me on Twitter and Amino, like I said before. Make sure you leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.